sleeping with my hands tied. That's really great. I see your spirit is not broken. Well, you think a little velvet around my wrist is going to do that? No. But now you know your attempt to escape is useless. And I trust you won't try anything so foolish again. Well, you've seen to that, haven't you? Now, where is it? I don't know what you're talking about. I see. So you're still interested in playing games. I suppose we could do that all evening if you like. I can certainly take pleasure in your company and your beauty. But I suspect you'd prefer it if you merely told me where you've hidden the talisman. You know, you're the perfect host, always considerate of his guests. <laughs> I will find out where you've put it. One way or another. Well, I'm sure you could do that. Uh, you could probably uh, torture me and I'd let you know everything you need to know, but then you wouldn't uh, get to hear the proposition I have for you. Do you really believe you're in a position to be defining terms? Well, then maybe you should hear my terms and then decide. Because I have something a lot more valuable than any stone and a lot more useful to a man like you. Okay, what's your plan? I'll go back to the harem tonight, and I'll tell them the crews kidnapped me. No, they're not gonna believe that. Why not? Why not? He was very desperate. And while I'm explaining to them how I escaped, then you can go and get Eden. It's too dangerous. Do you have a better idea? I'm gonna go in there on my own. The Pasha will be on the lookout for any attempt to rescue Cruz's wife. I'll be very careful. No, you will be caught. And then I will have to go in and try to get you both. So you make my task doubly difficult. Look, Michael, you may not like the idea, but you need my help. I don't want you to get hurt. Your concern is admirable, but unnecessary. Look, if the Pasha doesn't believe your story he about me... He will being believe me. And I'm just supposed to take your word for that? I'm sorry. No, Don't I... you understand? This is our only chance to be together. How no man has ever looked at me with the same eyes you do. Sure. We can have a wonderful life together. I will bear you many sons. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll make Michelle, you happier Michelle, than Michelle, any Michelle, man Michelle. who ever hey, does. Hey, I'll hey, do hey, it hey, for hey, us. I think Michael. I must have obviously misled you here. I'm sorry. I... You see, you believe me. The Pasha will too. Well, you're going to go in there. When do we leave? We don't. Look, I appreciate you wanting to help, but I can't let you. I can't let you take that chance. I'm sorry. You stay here. I'll be back. Michael. I'm sorry I was so forward. I had to give you right, no, I understand. I understand. I'll be back. Pure 
of gold. It's yours. If you tie my hands with this. Why should I believe any offer you would make? I think you at least want to hear it. Let's see, what have I heard so far? You said you were a reporter for a magazine. Yeah. Is that why you wanted the talisman for your magazine? I don't care about the stone. Another lie. I know you care. And I know exactly who you are, Mrs. Castillo. I've known from the very beginning. Well, congratulations. So you know who I am. It doesn't mean that I can't help you. You will say anything to try to obtain your husband. Yes, please. absolutely I would say anything to get my husband, but I know you will let him go. I know you will. Why? Because you're not a barbarian. You're an educated man. You're not the kind of man who makes rash decisions. I'm also not the kind of man who succumbs easily to flattery, Mrs. Castillo. The fact is that I have the talisman and you don't. And you have my husband and I want him back. So if I grant your husband freedom, you will let me know where the talisman is? Yes. You did not get far, Mrs. Castillo. I could easily have my men search the area in which you attempted to escape. I'm certain they would find the talisman there. But you don't really have time to search, do you? I mean, the Sheikh's forces are positioned and ready to attack, and the talisman isn't going to do you any good right now. So you can either stall until it's too late, or you can actually do something about it. Tell me your plan, and this will be the truth. All right, I lied when I said I was a reporter from a magazine. I'm a journalist, and I work for a television station in Santa Barbara. I know. So you must also know how powerful the medium is. Oh, yes. We even have cable here in our primitive country. But I did a couple of spots for the television station in Santa Barbara. I could do a spot about you about the war that you're waging to give freedom to your country. I could convince the audience that the war that you're fighting is a just one. Convince them to save yourself and your husband or because you believe it's the truth? Both, but see, I wouldn't be the one to convince them. You would. You and your passion for your country would win this war against the Sheikh without spilling one drop of blood. I would like to believe this, but the question is, will the rest of the world believe you? Why wouldn't they? Because you'd be lying. You'd be trying to generate sympathy for a man you believe is a barbarian. I, I don't believe that. I believe you are a man who has an incredible passion for his country. That's why you kidnapped my husband. That's why you're keeping me here. You speak as no woman I've ever known. Shayla! Oh my god. She needs a doctor. I will take care of her. I'm home. We were beginning to think we might never see you again, Shaila. I'm certain I would never see your face again, Avinda. Why is that? Because of that man. Castillo? Yes. What, what happened with him? 
I dragged me out when he escaped. He threatened to kill me if I made a sound. So he took you hostage? Yes. Where did he take you? I do not know. As we started across the desert, he blindfolded me. And how did you escape from him? Well, the further we got from here, the weaker he became. And finally he collapsed, and I ran. But do you think he faltered because he was away from the stone? I do not know about these things, Athendom. I simply know that when my captor was unable to go on, I hurried back to my master as soon as I could. But if you came back here from where he took you, how could you not know where you were? I told you, he tied a scarf around my eyes. I could not see. A scarf which you removed when you escaped and found your way back here. Yes, I came back to you. You came back to tell me these lies? These are not lies! Where is he? Where is Castillo? I don't know! You're a liar and a traitor, Shayla. And it's a very, very, very simple method to make someone tell the truth. Now you will tell me everything. I'll never get past the Pasha's men. Right in. No, no, that's all these men. They're here. The, this woman, she came in. She uh, collapsed. She was a prisoner Wait, or something. One of his wives, Shema. How did you know? Oh my God, it's a long story. No, Michael, we can't go. We don't even know what tent Cruz is in. But Cruz isn't here. All right, the what? Sheik kidnapped him. He's using him as a bargaining chip in their war. Now, I gotta get you out of here so we can figure out a way to get in to him. No, no, wait a minute. What? I have a better plan to get Cruz back. You just wait here, okay? Where are you going? To speak to the Pasha. Guards, I want to speak to the Pasha, now. Please, you must be I know me. when you are lying, Shayla. Now, where is he? Where's Castillo? Where indeed? Leave us, Mrs. Castillo. This does not concern you. Oh, but it does, because you lied to me. I did not. Yes, you did. You said you were holding my husband, and you aren't. I know where Cruz is, and I know where the talisman is. So it seems I have all the answers to your questions. Are you now going to consider my offer?